everyone, John here with our family follow-up video for Sunday, October 16th. A really simple video this week, a really straightforward scripture. With the kids, we talked about the parable of the persistent widow, which was our gospel reading from the Gospel of Luke chapter 18. And um, if you were listening or to my sermon yesterday or were in church yesterday, you know that Luke actually tells us exactly what this uh, parable means in the first chapter of the of the first verse of the chapter. So Luke 18:1, Luke tells us, and he, meaning Jesus, Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. And so what's the point of the parable of the persistent widow, this woman who keeps badgering this judge until she gets justice uh, for herself? Is that Jesus is inviting us to badger God the way this woman is badgering uh, this judge. So Jesus is inviting us to pray and to pray persistently and to feel like we can just keep badgering God, just keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. God wants to hear our prayers. And that's the whole point of the parable. And so when we were um, going over this with the kids, again, I was preaching, so I wasn't in Sunday school, but Kim Robinson taught. And the key point that we had talked about was to tell the kids to pray and never give up, to keep on praying. And throughout our family discipleship plan for the week, um, we have questions for you to work with with your kids and your family about building a rhythm of prayer. So we encourage the kids in Sunday school about how they might pray throughout their week. And we're encouraging you guys uh, through the family devotions that are in uh, your family discipleship guide to consider uh, ways you guys can pray together to live into this call that we have to pray and never give up, to keep on praying. So that's our family follow-up video for this week. Really straightforward, a very simple scripture and a simple call to pray. But again, I, I do hope that these family discipleship guides are a blessing to you guys. Let me know how they go. Um, I've reformatted them a little bit just to make them a little bit more um, user-friendly, I guess. I've got headings on each page three days of daily devotionals built into evening prayer for families. Also, I've changed up the liturgy. I've substituted in some new prayers and collects and scriptures, and so it's a little bit more fresh each day rather than just using the same liturgy three times during the week. Um, so go ahead, dive on into those family devotionals. I've got more detail about the scripture if you want it in here, as well as points from the catechism that connect with it. God bless you guys, and hey, let's set a good example for our kids by cultivating our own prayer life and then help to shepherd our kids into having a deep prayer relationship with our Lord for themselves. God bless you. We'll see you all next week.